called To the Girl Who Wants to Run Away to Los Angeles and Become Famous. It's semi-autobiographical. <laughs> Los Angeles has its boring parts too. It's long, deflated afternoons. It's quiet coffee shops where even the baristas are asleep and the homeless stop being homeless long enough to come out of the rain. Afternoons when the movie reel jams and we are all stuck watching the same staticky channel, the same still of a boy looking for his lost dog while the light disappears behind a mountain turning gold. Even the sun gets old here, the downpour of heat bored with warming up the sidewalks and the endless parades of passengers throwing their Pepsi bottles out a window while the man under the overpass pushes his cart in and out of traffic looking for a dime. Days when the construction workers stop assembling cabinets and eat a sandwich on the bench outside of Ralph's and the tired sparrows bum a loaf of bread from the man trying to call home and the projectionist decides to leave his third wife for the first time. The thirst here is terrible, but who can report on the thousand and one defeats of the human heart? The dead director's last great idea, the girl's missing shoes, the deceit of bulldozers. I wish I could tell you it's all worth it, that there is a spa robe for every anxious hour and a real explosion for every falling star. But most days are full of the same dust you came from, dull as those long hot summers in the trailer park when you watch the snake, black and red diamond its way through the weeds towards that future that had already been decided and the nobody special you were about to become. <laughs>